Good morning to everybody. Firstly, let me thank uh, Christoph Sim and Ishiyama for this kind invitation. It's a great pleasure for me to be here. And uh, I will talk about uh, ultrasound elastography in the superficial organ application. Why we have to use elastography? All of us know that since ancient Egypt, uh, the evaluation of, of tissue stiffness was one of the basis of medical uh, diagnostics. However, Hippocrates included in the physical examination of patient, but all of us know that digital palpation is not as high accurate as we need. Technology helped us to obtain what is called ultrasound elastography. But what is ultrasound elastography? Which is the aim? Is to obtain two ultrasound, ultrasonographic images before and after what? Or a probe compression, and this is called the strain ultrasound elastography, also called quasi-static elastography, or without compression, but by using just a mechanical impulse, and this is called the shear wave elastography. After that, we have to track tissue displacement by assessing the propagation of imaging beam. A number of papers have been published, but to date, the main referral one is this one, the uh, EFSUM guidelines that uh, together with all the other EFSUM experts, we provided and we published in Ultrashall. And I suggest you to download, because you find a lot of important information about that. First, we have to understand when we deal with ultrasound strain elastography, what is a strain? Strain means deformation. Therefore, soft tissue has high, while hard tissue has low deformability. Based on that, we may provide a classification which is called the color-based classification. You can divide the nodules depending on how it is colored. Could be green, that means uh, soft. Could be blue, that means uh, hard, depending on the equipment that you're using, of course. After that, we included also a semi-quantitative uh, index, the strain ratio. What means? We may put uh, a ROI within the nodule, another one at the same level of the surrounding thyroid tissue, and then we may obtain a semi-quantitative evaluation. We started our experience uh, in uh, 2009, and uh, our first preliminary experience helped us to understand what? That uh, ultrasound elastography may help us to better improve the characterization of the thyroid nodule by using a cutoff and by using strain ratio. And we found 2 plus less 0 0.2 because this is what is called the cutoff value. However, in the literature, you find a lot of cutoff values. This depends on the equipment that you're using. After that, we had the possibility to use the refinements of the technology, and we obtained the new software, which helped us to obtain more beautiful images and more reliable compression. And we continue our experience by trying to address also chi 3 indeterminate nodules evaluation and inter-observer variability, and we found that by using ultrasound elastography, we were able to reduce the inter-observer variability. However, we have also to state that still strain elastography is operator dependent. Therefore, how to try to reduce the variability in our compression? We need to have what is called compression quality control real time. And the new Platinum series helped us to obtain it. It is based on compression intensity and duration. So we started our evaluation, and I would like to show you this example in which we try to do the compression, but the compression were not so harmonic as we needed. Then we improved the timing of compression, but I would like to, to show you this is called uh, the sliding probe uh, artifacts, which reduce the quality of our compression. So at the end, we need to have a very harmonic and continuous and precise compression. So you need to be trained. Let's see a couple of examples. This is a big lesion, isohypoechoic, well marginated. We did our ultrasound strain elastography. 
and uh, we provided the strain ratio which was lesser than two, thus consisting with the benignity of this lesion. And we follow it, and we are following this kind of patient. Here is another case. Fine needle aspiration stated the type three, so indeterminate one. This is uh, isohypechoic with, with some vessels at the color doper. However, when we used what is called SMI, superb microvascular imaging, we did find a lot of vessel within it, and also some microclassification within the lesion. It's important to understand what is uh, SMI. And I would you like to ask you, what do you see? Whether, whether I ask you, it's 7 a.m. in the morning, we are somewhere in the world, I ask you where we are. We cannot say where we are, but when sunshine helped us to understand the landscape, we recognize Chicago. So what is SMI? SMI is a Doppler-based technology which remove clutter artifacts, but not reducing the color Doppler information. So this is what I call the sunshine color Doppler evaluation. Let's see another example. This is a fairly marginated hyperchoic nodule, taller than wide, with some vessel, but better appreciate also other internal tiny vessel at SMI. Micro, Micropure helped us to detect this tiny microclassification. And by doing our elastography, we found a completely blue and hard lesion. By using strain ratio, the value was very high so far consisting with uh, a malignant lesion. Look at this one. This is a multi-layered lesion. I call this uh, the sign rainbow sign. And this means that this is uh, a not cystic and not solid lesion, so a mixed uh, lesion. But I would like to show you whether you put the ROI here, you find 2.14, so in the gray zone area. But whether you put the ROI within the nodule, but not including entire tissue, you obtain different values. So, another important thing is uh, try to check the ROI position. Again, you can also follow the lymph nodes in the only one stop uh, uh, evaluation. In conclusion, regarding strain astrography, we did obtain more reliable and valuable examination with the new equipment. However, New horizons are now open, and this means share wave. What is a share wave? When you threw in the lake a stone, you see that the stone creates some waves around it. What is important is that when you deal with the strain astrography, you do vertical compression, while the longitudinal wave propagation in share wave is horizontal. And also, you have to take into account that speed shear velocity is directly connected with the stiffness of a body. So, I show you, you press the button, then the waves uh, come uh, horizontally towards the lesion, and depending on the stiffness, they are distorted. Now let's see some example. This is what you, you see on the display. You see you can follow the propagation wave, you see the polychromatic map, and also you may have a number which expresses elasticity or speediness. Here is an example. Hyperchoic with the vascularization with the error index inside. And whether you see the lesion at share wave is red so far, consisting with hard lesion. And also, the numbers are very high. This was consistent with the final diagnosis. However, similar case, hyperchoic, tiny microclassification, tight triad, fine needle aspiration. But when you see here, the numbers are very low, and this is consistent with benign lesion, confirmed at histology. In conclusion, with regard to thyroid, we suggest to use ultrasound elastography that may be done with strain or shear wave only as additional tool which may help us to better evaluate thyroid nodules. However, we have to see also other different applications. And what about breast? Looking at guidelines, we see that today the recommendations are to increase the diagnostic value of ultrasound examination in differentiating breast lesions, 
but especially to upgrade the benign appealing lesion, which are stiff at uh, uh, elastography, so far you have to do a biopsy. You have to take into account that not all the breast cancer are stiff, and you have also to evaluate that you, you need to skip the artifacts created by pre-compression artifacts. This is the classification that uh, we follow. This is also some values that can be followed to discriminate lesion depending on shear wave uh, values. Let's see this example. Fairly marginated hyperchoic lesion. Still images show that the lesion is completely blue and the strain ratio is more than 2.2, 2.5, which is the cutoff value provided also by Tom Fisher in some of his papers. And this was consistent also with the same appearance at share wave elastography, and the diagnosis was a breast ductal carcinoma. Conversely, this benign lesion appeared at strain elastography with a strain ratio lesser than two, and then at share wave, the lesion was blue and with low value, so consistent with small fiber adenoma. I would like to show you this uh, hyperchoic, taller than wide lesion, no microclassification, also by using a micropure, but by looking at uh, color Doppler, power Doppler, and then SMI, you see how nicely may be depicted all the tiny vessels within this lesion. And by looking at what we obtained with strain astrography, the lesion appeared blue with some part in green, because some part, central part of the, the, the breast cancers may appear soft. So taking account that. But strain ratio was higher, and also uh, share wave may provide you very nicely also the, the diffusion of this lesion and also the edema around that is very nicely depicted. What about uh, another possible application, parotid gland evaluation? I would like to show you this case. I did my performance and uh, you see the lesion is soft also by compression present a flebolite within the lesion, at color doper is vascularized, but by using SMI, it's very easy to detect the lakes of vessels which fulfill the lesion. And also, by using MF SMI, you see how nicely the lesion is completely fulfilled. At strain elastography, the lesion appeared with the rainbow sign, so far fluid content lesion. And then, after contrast agent, you see that the same appearance as provided by SMI was really nicely evaluated. And also, during the late phase, the lesion is even completely fulfilled. And by using time intensity curve, you see the typical plateau and progressive enhancement of this lesion. And here is a Taiwan hypointense lesion, Tai 2 very bright lesion, and after gadolinium, the same appearance of this lesion. Some take home messages. Nowadays, we may provide what is called the multi parametric evaluation based on morphologic features stiffness provided with both ultrasound strain or shear wave, vascularization by using CUS and SMI, and all this software may help us to reduce intra and interobserver variability. However, I would like to ask you to be very aware about the appropriateness of the examination. Not all the cases could be scanned. Adequate training is needed. You have to instruct patients to help you to obtain the right examination. Then you have to use readable parameters, and you have to avoid the pre-compression and vertical artifacts, and check for row size and position. And I would like to thank you by showing you Roma with this rainbow and the rainbow sign, and also thank Wesam Ibrahim for his friendship and his cooperation, and thank you so much for your attention.